six-year-old. He placed eighth in the World Championships in 2017. Struggled a little bit last year. Good to see him back in the form. So the two shake hands and we are underway. Iran will be in the red, the blue for Armenia. Almost a quick step out there. Now losing the balance off that two-hand shove. And down goes Armenia and a quick strike, 2-0. Very explosive action here. The thing about the Iranian wrestlers watching them throughout the years, I don't know if there's another country that chats more with the referee during the course of a match. They always are <laughs> looking for that conversation, pleading their case. And that was the case right there with... Look at this one. Garayi. Both wrestlers eager to snap the opponent down, looking for the front headlock. A lot of positional wrestling here. Look at this. The Iranian wrestler almost going to the body. Two on one set up by Iran. Garayi. Unable to do anything with it. Armenia breaks free, comes clean. And look at this. Both wrestlers very explosive. With a lot of movement to off balance the, the opponent. Wow! How's that for a throw? Beautiful! A four pointer. Lightning quick and textbook. That was textbook. Beautiful. Executed. What are the chances? What are the odds you pull one of those types of throws off in a match like this? I mean, it is so precise with the timing and the location to execute what we just saw. Back comes Iran. Look at this, look at this. And he throws him over for four, and Iran goes up six to four. <laughs> well, two wrestlers, aggressive and capable. This is just exciting. United World Wrestling has a feature each day. It's called the throw of the day, or they have big throw Monday. I think we have a couple of possibilities, strong possibilities here in this bronze medal at 77. What a counter from the Iranian wrestler. Girai with the two point lead. 15 seconds to work first period. You almost want that clock to go quicker so we can go back to the highlights. I want to watch those throws again. Beautiful throws. First period ends. Entertaining three minutes of wrestling. 6-4 Iran with the lead. And now the two wrestlers go off into their corners. Both wrestlers providing some beautiful throws. When you think of Greco-Roman wrestling, these highlights coming up is what you envision it to be when it's at its finest. And both wrestlers able to pull off some throws. Sometimes you just sit back and watch. This out, just beautiful. Suplex again. This is just, this is textbook. And they make it look so easy, but it takes a life to perfect this technique. And then applying it in a bronze medal match at the World Wrestling Championship, beautiful. Yeah, that throw by Shalayan. <laughs> you just can't describe how tough that is to hit at that precise moment. So explosive and <laughs> yeah, like we've been like we've been saying, just a moment. That's all it takes. Changing a match. Ryan looking for an arm drag and a whistle from the referee. And the finger warning comes to both of them. Finger! 
And I mentioned the Iranian nation as a wrestling nation. Armenia, just the same. A country full of amazing wrestlers. It'll be a slip on the arm throw attempt by Iran. No points awarded. You're not penalized. You're the offensive wrestler and you try to make the aggressive move and it slips. And this has really been an amazing change. Look at this. Front headlock. Or does he want to take it? He can get that arm seized. He can't quite do it. Your eye not going into that bait and trap. Six to four, Iran maintains the two point lead. Nothing has changed in this second period. We have Chalai here really looking to capture the arm, get into a position. Thank you, Rise. Effective in shutting him down. We haven't seen a passivity call yet in this match. Again, going back toward the head area is the Armenian. Front headlock here. Not. No hit. No grip here. No grip down on one knee. Not a real good position to score. Inside a minute to go, give Iran some credit with Garay, and he's doing enough to avoid that passivity call. Here comes that front headlock again. This time he stays on his feet, and no points and awarded it. yet. Scramble situation, rolling him over toward the left, trying to get that wow. throw, and he ends up on his back, and out of bounds they go, and I'm sure this might go to the review table as we take another glimpse here to see how it settles out. So they actually gave Shalai in the two, and then on that last exchange, Garai ends up with two, and as expected, you knew we were gonna get a challenge out of that. It happened fast, so let's take a look. 6-4 at this time. Down goes the Iranian, no points were awarded there, so he's still trailing 6-4. And it had to be, if you're gonna give Armenia two, it had to be before that, correct? That would be the case, yes. And it will be interesting to see how the judges score this situation. I mean, they, the actions, they happen so fast, it's... Anxious moments for both these competitors. And the challenge is won by Armenia. Well, now, now they're going to change it, and it's been lost. So Armenia loses the challenge. The two points toward that tail end stand, plus they get the lost challenge point. Iran goes up 9 6, 33 seconds to go. This is a very, very tough position to be in for Chal Chalai. They're really looking here for the time to run out. Chalayan, that clock directly to his left, counting down into single digits. And for the second time tonight, Iran has done it again. A bronze medal for the Islamic Republic of Iran. They are two for two in this bronze medal round in a victory 9-6. Garai, the Asian bronze medalist this year. He was the Asian Games champion a year ago. For the second time in his career, he captures the world bronze. Did it back in 2017.